Hello, IT pals, and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video, we're going to update the BIOS version of a Dell Optiplex 360. I have done, I have shown this computer in a few months ago. So we, I, I found it, I troubleshooted, and it worked. But I didn't do anything else to it. So I said, hey, why don't you? I just update the BIOS version for this device. So for this video, we're going to do something a little different. We are going to use a tool called uh, bootable DOS DOS USB drive. Okay, so we're going to put the update there and we're going to boot it from the USB itself. In the past, we have done something similar, uh, but using only but that works only for Dell computers. So if you want to know how to make that USB that we need for this video, you can click on the top right of this screen. It's a very short video, less than six minutes. Uh, it's really easy to do. You only need one uh, USB drive and a free software that that is one megabyte, okay? So once you have it, come back here. And as you can see, uh, you can notice that my icons are a little bigger. That's because I changed the resolution. Uh, I changed it to a lower resolution so you can see things better. And uh, if you want to know the serial number of your computer, you open a CMD and type WMIC BIOS get serial number. You press enter and it's going to give you a serial number. In my case, it doesn't give me anything because this computer I built it myself. So it's it's not from a manufacturer like Dell, HP, Lenovo, Toshiba, and many others, okay? But if you have one of those computers, it's going to show you the serial number here. But I'm just showing you how to get it. You can also get it on the BIOS itself or on the case of the computer. But we are, going, we are really not going to need it. We're going to do another more easier, another easier method to find the correct BIOS version. So for that, I'm going to open a web browser whether any, anyone you like, and I'm going to use Bing, and then I'm going to use Google. So I'm going to type what I exactly what I need. So it's going to be a Dell Optiplex 360 BIOS download. So as you can see here, the first option is not going to be the correct because it just takes me to Dell.com, and the second one is the one I think is going to be the correct one. So I'm going to click on it, and right away it's going to take me to Dell.com and particularly to Dell Optiplex 360 System BIOS A07. So that's the name of the newest update that they have. So this update came out in 2013, so many years ago, but five years after the release of this computer. Okay, so it's it's kind of cool. So it's less than one megabyte, so it's very, very, very small, and you can download it from the download link that you see there. And I'm going to do the same for Google. I'm going to copy paste it and the first option is going to be the right one. And as you can see here is the same. And this is for me an easier way to, <clears throat> to find the BIOS that I need instead of going to hold the process we have done in previous videos. So I already have the update. As you can see here, it's called O360807, but it's too long. I'm going to change the name to 360. You can change any name you want, but uh, for me it's uh, shorter this way. So I'm going to open my PC, and this is the USB bootable, uh, the bootable DOS USB drive. So I open it once you have it done from the video I mentioned a few seconds ago. And these three files are the ones that are going to be there by default. You don't have to do anything with them. Don't delete them, don't change them. And you just have to drag and drop uh, the BIOS update. So that's pretty much it. Then we disconnect the USB, and we are going to connect it to our Dell Optiplex 360. Okay, and well, we don't have anything else to do in this computer, and this method is so you you don't use Windows or Linux. You don't have to load that operating system. So I'll see you in a few seconds on my cell phone. Hello guys. So here I am on the computer using my, my cell phone to record. So this is the Dell computer. I'm sorry that I cannot show you everything, but this computer is really really big. It's taking a lot of space on my desk, and this is the USB I was talking about. This one is the um, bootable DOS USB drive. So allow me a few seconds uh, to adjust my, my camera. I have connected the, the USB to the computer and now I'm going to turn on the computer. And I'm going to start pressing F2, F2 to access the BIOS. And here we are, old fashioned Dell blue screen BIOS. <laughs> I haven't seen this many, many years. So the first option by default is system info. You can see there. And uh, you see system Dell Optiplex 360. I'm going to move. Uh, no, I'm going to move anything. Uh, the BIOS version is uh, here. You can see the serial number, and the BIOS version is A01 that came out in 2008. So this is very old. A01 tells me that this was the first one, <laughs> the first BIOS this computer came with. So 
Uh, well, I, I don't have to do anything else here. I just wanted to show you that what the BIOS version that, that this computer currently have, and we are going to update it to A07. So I'm going to uh, press escape and exit. So this is the image that I see. I don't need this. I'm going to restart the computer and I'm going to start pressing F12, okay, F12. So I have access to the boot menu. We can see the hard drive that is installed that is having problems apparently. And what we are interested in is in USB device because that's the one is connected. That's the one where the BIOS update is locked. Is. Now I'm going to just press enter. As you can see here, uh, free DOS kernel 2042. So we know it's working. So on the bottom you see C, the classic is waiting for a command. And if you don't remember what you have in your flash drive, you just type the command dir, and it's going to uh, it's going to list all the documents, all the files that is in that USB. As you can see here, we have the same that we saw when we copy the 360 file, the update to this USB. And the only thing you have to do, since we know the 360 is the file, is just type 360.exe, enter. And then it's going to take us to the screen. About to replace Optiplex 360 BIOS. Press any key to replace A01 BIOS with A07 BIOS. So A07 is the old one, A07 is also old, but it's the newest version. So I'm going to press any key. I believe I press enter and confirm replace replace BIOS. Well, yeah, yes. And then it's going to go through this process. The funny thing is that I thought it was going, it was going to take like one minute or so. And as you can see here, my camera is not well focused on all the all the letters. So I was moving it around so you can see it better. And during that time, the, the BIOS update finished. So it was really quick. It, it was less than 15 seconds, less than 20 seconds. So as you can see, BIOS update successful. And then the computer automatically restarts itself. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to press F2 again so we can get to the BIOS. One more time, as you can see there, system BIOS, Dell Optiplex 360, BIOS version A07. So that, but this time says it came out in 2012. Well, I, I don't know why it's showing that on the Dell website, it, it said 2013. But anyway, that, that's another way you can update your BIOS version for any, any computer. So far, so far, I have only tested on, on Dell. I'm going to try to do more videos using the same um, you, uh, bootable DOS USB drive on, let's say, HP or any other. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you for you today, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any any com any other comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so by clicking in the subscribe button and the bell notification for future videos. And if this is your first time in this channel, check around. Maybe you, you will find a video that is useful to you. So thank you very much again, and I'll see you in the next video.